Foreign Affairs Secretary Tidoro Loxin Jr. said the Philippines can manage without the loans from states that voted in favor of an Iceland-led resolution which sought a review of the human rights situation in the country. Good idea. We don't need the money. We have more than enough without turning to anyone outside except Japan, of course, whose generosity is unconditional, quick, and whose motivation is honestly to help the Philippines. The rest are tongue-in-cheek and negligible. An Inquirer article dated September 20 reported that the Office of the President issued a confidential memorandum suspending the negotiations or signing of all loans and grants from the 18 nations that backed the United Nations Human Rights Council resolution. France and Sweden were among the non-members that co-sponsored the resolution last July, while the 18 UNHCR member states that voted yes were Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bahamas, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Fiji, Iceland, Italy, Mexico, Peru, Slovakia, Spain, Ukraine, the United Kingdom, including Northern Ireland and Uruguay. Meanwhile, on Monday, presidential spokesman and legal advisor Salvador Panelo clarified that the memorandum on the loan suspension was indeed issued by Medialdea upon the order of the president. He added that the president could not comprehend why Iceland was more concerned about the alleged drug-related deaths but allows the killing of unborn babies. Iceland recently spearheaded the resolution, seeking an inquiry into the drug-related killings in the Philippines. He explained to me why he feels that the Iceland resolution is not only offensive but is also to him, huh? but also offensive to this country because that Iceland resolution presupposes that we're not doing anything about the complaints about abuses, which is not true. We've been prosecuting. In fact, every death arising from police operation on drugs is automatically subject to administrative and criminal prosecution because the SOP there is when there is death arising from any raid involving the police, immediately they are subjected to administrative and criminal prosecution. But ang problema kasi, marami nagre-reklamo, may mga nagre-reklamo ng police abuse, pero hindi sila nagpa-file formally. Kung mag-file naman, wala namang ebidensya. Pero pag meron, inihahain. He cannot comprehend why Iceland is so concerned about the alleged brutal slaying of suspected criminals which occur because the lives of those people who are enforcing the law are endangered and yet it has a law that allows killing murdering unborn children unborn babies aged six months and below that's why he said hindi po pwede ito they're imposing their culture to us pero tingnan mo ginagawa nila